Good morning, vloggers, all the way from Daytona Beach. I always want to say California for some reason. California. <laughs> Florida. So the word's out. It's the wrong ocean. <laughs> Paul's wife didn't know that I like to keep it secret, my location, until halfway through my low, my shooting. It's just my thing. That's what I like to do. And uh, so Sonia, well, Paul sent Sonia picture. the picture at, from the airport in front of a Harley. And so, oh, this guy's <laughs> cutting the grass. It's going to be loud. So uh, people that follow the Tickle Toad, there, there's an incentive to follow the Tickle Toad Instagram. Because Sonia will... It was, yeah, because it looked like one of your followers that made so, it. Yeah. So yeah, so one of the people that follow me and Paul saw that post and uh, no big deal. Sonia didn't know. Sonia didn't know it was a secret. Oh. The, the brakes on this Mustang so are touchy. so touchy. We got up uh, just before 7.30 and right now it is 20 after eight. Had our shower, shave. Uh, I tried to iron, but the iron's like way too hot and it felt like it was sticking to my shirt so I couldn't iron this shirt. Paul got his done. It's a different material. Look, 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 yeah. mine's, look, like, look at mine's like, it's like plastic or something, I don't know. Plastic? So Bucky's is just right here. So we're in that hotel. Bucky's is right there, and I did this on purpose for to grab stuff that we might need. We might not leave, need to leave stuff in the car. Uh, again, because I have a convertible, I have to leave most of the stuff in the trunk. But uh, yeah, so that's how our day is going to start. Bucky's is right there, and again, I'm hoping I can get all the shots we need, and it's going to be a lot of fun, right, Paul? That's right. Anything you're looking forward to? Because you've seen some videos. I like the uh, brisket sandwich you guys did. The brisket? Yeah. Yeah. There's a thing called the the Rhino, and that's that was when I came down to Texas, one of the first times, and I was with people that lived in Texas. Uh, one of the guys that was there, he had to get the Rhino, and I can't remember. I think it was like a sausage sandwich or something. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to sign off now. At the end of the day, we'll uh, give you guys a wrap up. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, Paul, we've got some time to kill. Yes. And here's what we're going to do. Three million pictures to scroll through. There no, we go. No pressure. I need to get my wife some more Harley, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> looks like it. So yeah, we're just taking a break from Bucky's for a bit, and uh, this is a very, very large Harley Davidson uh, dealer, and uh, they're about 13 kilometers up the road. So we thought we'd uh, zip over here. There was one uh, downtown uh, Daytona Beach. And we kind of drove past, but it was a much smaller building. This place, I think, was the right choice. I should have brought my boots. Oh. Like I it for a That's pretty. Ah, uh, there we go. This, this is visitor information. There, Paul is going to lose his mind. Oh, check it out. Oh, they got some oldies. Morning. Good, how are you doing? I'm happy to come here. We're from Canada, so we're from Toronto. Yeah, not this big. Yes, it is. That's very cool. I'll be buying some shirts for my wife. We've got two floors of inventory. Okay. We'll look up there too. You can see up along there as well. There's t-shirts and things upstairs, and we're getting ready to do the new sports store reveal over there where the TVs are. Oh. Got coffee and donuts over there. You guys help yourself. Is that today's sports store reveal? It is. Wow. Yeah, we, we, we picked the day. At 11? 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes. Could we time that better or what? That's our 1993 You should get it, Paul. I like it. This is your collection. You don't sell these. This is the family. That's yeah. Right. yeah, they won't find Yeah, 1914, yeah. 1916. And then there's some more of their collection up along the rail. 
Was it last year you did the Harley? You went to the the museum? No, two years ago. Two years ago. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, it was great. Okay. I made a whole video on it. Well, it's not going anywhere. No, I know. We'll be going there. Seventeen grand. It's down to sixteen. Ah, out, out of all the Harleys, I think that's one of my favorite styles. That's a lot of Harley. I like that. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, 1941. Beautiful. My uncle had a 1942 or 3 yeah. Army Harley. Yeah, because when the when the war was finishing yeah they're selling them off you get them at the surplus you buy was in a crate so you'd have to partially assemble the bike jeez and they were so cheap and i always bought them so you should have kept that machine yeah, i know that been so much money you were gonna store it somewhere in a basement if you could get it down there that's gorgeous too i love the color it's not flashy Did she say this is the biggest one in Florida? The biggest, yeah, the biggest uh, part in Florida. Look at all the paintings on the wall, gorgeous. Murals. Nice. Lots of clothing. More clothing, jackets, leather Watch. jackets, all the way down there. A lot of cool signs. Party watches. Watches. Jeez. Buffs. Yeah, I always see these kind of guys with the skull face. As long as they're UV, you're good. Of course, your typical dog chain. Knives, glasses, more shirts. Hello. Oh, get your get your kids a nice more. Are they? Yeah. Very cool. I just thought it was like protecting their feet or something. Oh, Paul, look. We got the one down here. That's beautiful. That's what your uncle had. Yeah, but it didn't have the gun thing. Of course. Well, that's just an add-on. Actually, I've got a picture. That's the electric. That was a fast machine. I think it's just torque, right? I think it's lightning. I didn't know. I didn't know they made an electric one. <laughs> they even make it look like there's a gas tank on it. They don't need to do it. Yeah, no, it's funny, eh? All electric, and this is where you plug it in, which makes sense because it's. How did, how did I open it? There we go. Plug and play, digital readout. I guess you when you have your key on you. It's just like a cell phone. Cool. So they're going to be uh, unveiling a new bike, and they got a whole bunch of seats. Uh, what's the? Yeah, I'll do black. Thanks. Yeah, it's black. But uh, what's the? What's the bike they're announcing? Sportster 1200. The Sportster 1200. Well, they can get your hair cut here too. <laughs> Even Harley people need to get their hair cut. Thank you, sir. Duncan. I don't think I'll be doing a donut today. I just want to see what they what they got. Oh. They got those ones. Then they got those ones. And those ones. I think if I was to do one. It'd probably be, it would probably be, uh, I guess that chocolate one. Probably one of the biggest points of tension in the project is how do you solve that combination of fuel, air volume, 
running into that proportion and silhouette that people expect. I and mean, in the end, the dual outboard shocks and the architecture of the motorcycle pretty cool. are a cool. really radical solution to put the fuel underneath the seat. Let's get two. Paul, oh, I think you found your chair, dude. This is my chair. That's like the Game of Thrones, but the, the, the game of, well, the, the engines of something. I don't know. Fire it up. <laughs> oh, it's a tailpipe. Yeah. The game of tailpipes. Right there. Very cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Little details. How fast were you going? I was going pretty pretty quick. Oh, it's like a candy store. What do you see, Paul? What do you <laughs> see? The vision of loveliness. And how much is this? It's only $70,000. $70,000. Yeah, they made the front uh, like a, a copy of a Springer, but they put the spring in. Usually it was on a pivot. So they copied the design, but this pushes like this. That is so cool, dude. That is gorgeous. But would you ride it or just keep it in a, in a well, case? You, I know, I, <laughs> I'd ride it. Like this is where it belongs, right here behind velvet ropes. I guess they do leather here, but. It is very nice. Look at that fat that tire is, dude. That's like, look at that's 10 look inches. At looking, look at the lines on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird looking down like that and not a gas tank. Unbelievable. This is part of their collection as well. This is the family collection. Oh, yeah, wheelie bars. A lot of very pretty bikes, dude. This, this is kind of like the Harley Davidson dealer up in, in Wisconsin there, Milwaukee. This is, this is what it was like, just walking around looking at beautiful old bikes. What's it? Oh, this is the shifter? Yeah, suicide shifter. Suicide shifter. Crazy. Is that before they learned how to use... Like well, a, yeah, they, they, before there was a, they didn't have the clutch on the... Yeah. Which, you have to, or you shift them in with your foot, you shift with your hand. Right. That's what it's called. Well, that's right, you shift you with your one, foot. You'd have one hand off, and you have to change... But how, what, how did you... What was the, where was the clutch then? Was the clutch still a the pull? I think it was still up on the... But that would be your front brake. Maybe not. You'd think. I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe you pushed down and that was the clutch and then that was the shifter. It was just backwards and then they realized it'd be better to shift yeah, with your right. foot. If you look at that might be the last downstairs. Because you have to put a See, clutch there's in. Two, there's two pedals? Yeah. So one was one's a brake and one's a clutch then. Well, this one, I think. On this, I guess. No? Well, this is like a toggle, pivots, yeah. But that one's got two separate. Right, because the brake is always usually on this right side. So, we don't know. Beautiful place. Beautiful. A lot of bikes. A lot of room. Oh, look, they're building stuff back here, too. So, they got their whole repair and build area. It's upstairs. That's so I find so funny. It's upstairs. We've got Elvis. Paul's getting a little too excited, I think. Back from Bucky's, we're full. Time to have a swim. Are you ready, Paul? I am. So we just came out here and Paul just touched his toe in there and he says it's really cold. Go. Are you filming me? Yeah. I like your shirt. <laughs> really cold? Oh. Oh. Sounds like it's really cold. Let's see if I can do this with my phone. Put the phone on the table here. Don't fall, buddy. Don't fall. I'll put that here just in case. We got it? Okay. You take your eyes out with my nipples. That's not cold. What? That's not cold. That's freezing. That is not freezing. I th oh, you know what? I think the shirt. The shirt insulates you. Insulated me a bit. I wish I'd insulated you. 
Hey vloggers, how you guys doing? I didn't tell Paul that I was turning the camera back on to, to end off our vlog for the day. Uh, yeah, so we did the, um, we were at Bucky's all day, so it is just about 6.06 .06 right now. So we've eaten. We've, we've eaten, eaten, eaten. We've eaten. Yeah. And we've eaten. And we snacked. And we had snacks in between. That's right. And we even went for a swim. We went for a swim. We went to go see Harley Davidson. Yes, and, and then we ate. And then we <laughs> ate. So we did a lot of things. Then we went for a huge walk over there and went to the Tanger Mall. Yeah, had and, burned uh, some calories. Uh, in Canada, we have a Tanger Mall that used to be called the Cookstown Outlet Mall, and then Tanger bought it. Yes. But it's set up in a mall, like an enclosed mall, and uh, this one is absolutely all open. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, all open concept. It does have, like if it was raining or whatever, they have these like glass tops, but then they have trees growing up in the middle, so it was fantastic. Um, but right now, we're, we are so full, we're done with food. Uh, <laughs> Tomorrow we're, we're probably going to do um, Waffle House because Paul's never actually had a waffle at Waffle House. It's true. So he only, whenever he goes there, he always has like... I know, I get the breakfast. I'm, he gets like breakfast, normal stuff. Bacon and eggs. I'm like, when you go to the Waffle House, you have to have a waffle, but eat what you want whenever you want to eat it. Anyway, so we want to thank you guys also for hanging out with us uh, on the vlog channel. We really appreciate it. Of course, thanks to all my channel members and my Patreons. You guys are amazing. And everybody for just subscribing, watch, uh, subscribing, commenting and liking and sharing the video. You guys are all awesome too. And again, I want to thank Paul for coming out with me on this trip. My pleasure. I talked to Paul. I said, you know, when you get a cup like this and there's a big logo on one side, make sure your drinking surface is on the exact opposite side. So every time you drink, you're showing off the brand. Oh, Bucky. Oh, Bucky. <laughs> What's that from? It's not Bucky, it's Billy, right? Billy? Yeah. Oh, oh, Billy. Billy. It's from two movies. One, the original was, movie, uh, and then one, a person made fun of it. Yeah, it was from Midnight Express. Well, you weren't supposed to tell them. <gasps> oh, shoot, am and I who, it? And who made fun of the Midnight Express movie? Well, we know yeah. who that is. Well, I don't know. Some people might not know. They probably will. Am know. I allowed to say? Okay, go for no, it. No, I won't say. Okay. You have to guess. You have to guess. I know who it is. As the sun is going down behind us, it's slowly creeping up the camera, oh, it's and it's just almost right on the lens. There, yeah. If you just did that, you'd be right oh. into the right into the sun. But we had to keep this down a little bit. Oh, there we go. There, there we go. Re readjust. Uh, so, yep, yeah, we got our Bucky's clothing. We got our Bucky's apparel, mm -hmm. and uh, so our drinking cups. And I'm definitely going to have that in the uh, Sprinter van. It's a really cool cup. Ooh, yes. And uh, I'll bring Carol down to a Bucky's one day for sure. We'll make another big video. Nice sunset, eh, buddy? Cheers. Do you think they're gonna pass out? Oh, look at it, it pulls them down and then yeah. turns the thing this way. Do you think they're gonna make it? I don't know. Oh. We'll see. Well, that was fun. Oh, 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 oh. That was me on it. What? Jeez. Oh.